Whoa, I can see exactly the same. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to Day of the Tentacle. We're going to continue right where we left off, looking for that mysterious professor who walked up here and then just disappeared. I have not seen him since. All right, uh, let's see. We got to open the door. Um, go on in. It's useless. Oof. No one will ever be interested in my design. So okay. I'm ending my novelty inventing career right here in this what? tacky motel. How no. appropriate. No, 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 don't. <laughs> what the heck? Wow. I can't even do this right. Oh, poor guy. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's like the classic Looney Tunes gun or something like that. I guess uh, like he doesn't have a whole lot up there seeing as it was able to go straight through him. Oh my gosh, look at the background, the little uh, poker dogs. That That's fantastic. All right, can we can we come in? Oh wait, no, he won't let us. All right, let's, let's talk to you. I'm just a failure. Oh, Dwayne, don't, don't say that. What's up, bro, buddy? All right. Hi, Hi, my name's Bernard. What's yours? Dwayne. Dwayne. Isn't that depressing? I mean, when you say it like that, yeah, any any name could be depressing. You're like, my name is Bartholomew. I mean, Bartholomew is a pretty fantastic name, in my opinion. But, all right, you... You haven't see. seen any plans for a super battery around, have you? Super battery? Eh, that sounds even worse than the things I come up with. Um, it's a, a battery that's super. I think that's pretty fantastic. Like, if you had super water or, Gee, you know, you wait. look depressed. <laughs> what clued you in, Brainiac? <laughs> I love Dwayne. All right. Uh, the stooped shoulders and long face. I'm having a crisis here, a warehouse of anguish. I'm a novelty goods designer by trade. I've come up with some fabulous ideas. The exploding lollipop, itching powder gum, and reverse 3D glasses, to name what? a few. The reverse problem 3D? is no one likes my designs. Aww. I send them all over the world and no one responds. I just wish someone would say they liked one just once. Whoa, whoa, is me. Oh, gosh, poor guy. Thank goodness. I wonder if this has anything to do with, like, the developers. They're just like, we're making really great games, but no one likes them. I, I like your designs, Dwayne. I like your design ideas. Well, I didn't mean you. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is so perfect. Like, you ever see one of those people, they're like, how come no one likes me? And you're like, I, I, I kind of like you. And they're like, yeah, but I, I, meant, I meant attractive people. <laughs> All right, what did you say uh, your job was again? What did you say your job was again? I'm a novelty goods designer by trade. The problem is novelty no goods. one likes my designs. I send them all over the oh, world sorry. and yeah. no one responds. So respond. novelty goods, so he can like I make stuff. I just wish someone would say they liked one just once. Whoa, okay. whoa is me. All right, move along, sir. All right, let's see. What did you say your job was? Maybe I can help uh, cheer you up. Maybe yeah, I can let's help that. cheer you up. Oh, I can hardly wait. <laughs> okay, uh, why don't you try whistling a happy tune or maybe some calisthenics would help? I don't know what that is. Uh, or let's discuss philosophy. Uh, probably not that. Let's try whistling a Why happy tune. Why don't you try whistling a happy tune? I invented a whistle that turned your lips green. Nobody liked it. <laughs> uh. Like permanently or like temporary? Because that would be really cool. With like temporary green lips. I'd get some. Uh, let's... Maybe some calisthenics would help. Yeah, what he Last said. Last time I tried calisthenics, I ruptured my spleen. Woo. Ugh. <laughs> All right, uh, I guess let's discuss philosophy. Let's discuss philosophy. Okay, here's my philosophy. Life is completely pointless, especially mine. <laughs> um, Nietzsche had some interesting ideas along those lines, or maybe that uh, existence con uh, constitutes purpose. We read Camus. I actually recognize a few of these because I took a philosophy class a few years ago. Um, don't remember much beyond a few of the names. Nietzsche had some interesting ideas along those lines. Oh, who cares? Philosophers are all failures like me who couldn't make it in a real profession. Oh my gosh. All right. Uh, nice music. They pipe that nice in here, Nice right? music they pipe in here, huh? It's from the Elevated Classics series. <laughs> it seems like this one tune has been on all day. I've never been so depressed in my life. Oh my uh, gosh. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, never mind about that. I wonder if we can change the music. Um, is there anything else that we can talk Hi. to him about? Please, I'm too depressed to talk. <laughs> okay, so apparently we've run out of things. But but we did find that uh, if we change the music, that might uh, mix things up. Uh, can we grab this? I can't reach that from here. Can we grab this? Ooh, disappearing ink. 
Can we open the door? It doesn't seem to open. Yeah, he's not gonna let us in. Hmm. Is there anything else we can I do here? I can't see it very well from here. <laughs> Pictures of dogs playing poker. I can't see it very well from here. No, he's not gonna be able to talk about any of this. There is the mouse hole though. You see that there? I wonder, let's see. I wonder. It's pretty small. I wonder if um, we can put the, the gerbil from that one guy and like feed him through. Yeah. It's pretty small. It is pretty small. Let's see. Um, textbook. We have got a dime and disappearing ink. All right, so we may come back. All right, let me let me try something out. They said if you pushed both. Uh, ooh, wait. We can get candy. Heck yeah. Let's let's get some candy. All right. We've got a dime to spend. Use dime with candy I'd machine. I'd rather not. Why not? Why not? I'd rather. We, we, we found money. Why not spend it? <laughs> he he does look like the type that would save it though. Oh uh oh. Uh, fro fro fru fru emerald stolen. Uh, circular prints left behind. Oh man, look at all the little like uh, spun or marks all over the place. All right, is there a way to go around this corner here? Nope. Okay, where the heck is the professor? Cause it looks like. Okay, let's try going upstairs here. We'll 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 find him eventually, right? Maybe he just moved ahead of us. Is there maybe something hidden in here? Window. Anything outside? Hello? Whoa! Oh man, we can go out the window! I didn't know that! Oh, and there's a closed window right next to it. There's a pulley here. Uh, so we gotta get some rope. Oh, and there's a crank! Uh, can we grab it? Yes, let's pick it up. Awesome! Uh, flagpole. Uh, look at the chimney. Anything it's in there? It's a primitive but useful venting device which prevents injury due to harmful smoke inhalation. <laughs> That's a little more information than I was looking there for, buddy, but uh, thank you! All right, look There's at this no flag. flag on it now because it's evening. Okay, can we grab the Christmas right lights? And now we can look at them. Ooh, what keen Christmas lights. <laughs> oh, his voice. Uh, look at the sign. Welcome novelty goods convention. Hmm, okay. Let's look at the closed window here. Maybe we can go through it. Uh, can we open it? I can't, it's stuck. Dang it. Uh, can we it's look locked. at it? It's locked. Okay, can we, do we have anything that we can put on it? Probably not. Not funny enough. <laughs> okay, uh, let's try the crank on this. Can you put the crank on the pole? I'd rather not. Why not? Why does he keep rather and not at everything? All right, well, let's keep looking around for that professor. All right, let's try door W here. Oh wait, there's an ice machine. Can we open this up? Hello, anything inside? It's pretty darn cold. <laughs> uh, it is open. open. It? <laughs> Can we do anything else? No way. There's things in there that look like they've been there for years. Doesn't anyone ever clean this thing? Well, no, I guess not. All right, let's go in door W or W here. Open this up. Uh, go inside. Whoa. <laughs> My goodness. That's a, a lot to take in all at once. Um, One beautiful sleeping man here with some kind of a shirt shirt. And uh, we got a phone over here. Hello. Anybody home? Uh, use the phone. I don't have time for that now. I'm on a mission. Oh my gosh. Well, maybe that would uh, make our mission go further. All right. Uh, let's talk to him. Hello, buddy. Ahem. Yeah, ahem. Late night. Uh, do you ever inhale flies when you start? Uh, let's just Late talk night? to him. Yeah, he's not uh, gonna I'm wake up, is he? I'm trying to save the world from a nasty tentacle. <laughs> yeah, no, you've been uh, like no help at all, buddy. Uh, wait, there's a surveillance camera on him. That's interesting. Hi there. Hello. <laughs> Making the super cheesy grin. <laughs> How's it going? All right, I guess we can poke around in here. Let's uh, look at the television. Anything here? This beautiful 4,000 carat diamond can be yours today. Ooh. With a special rock bottom introductory price of $2,000,000. Whoa. The number to call is 1-800-STAR-WARS. <laughs> Don't one. miss this amazing once in a lifetime opportunity. 1-800-STAR-WARS, but it says something completely different there. All right, can we use the phone to uh, call? Let's uh, pick up the phone. It's 55, is that Couch four? Potato Shopping Channel, Wanda speaking. Uh, I want to buy a diamond. Yes, that please. That will be $2 million. Do you have a major credit card? <laughs> I have an ATM card. <laughs> and they just hung up. <laughs> when I got it, it seemed so useful. <laughs> hmm, I wonder if we can snag one of the professor's cards uh, and um, be, be able to purchase that diamond later. All right, uh, a coin slot. What is this? 
Um, okay. Up too late? Try a fickle finger's fate. Stick in a dime and you'll have a good time. Whoa, okay, well we've got a dime. Let's have a good time. Whoa, whoa. Uh. Up too late? Try a fickle finger's fate. Stick in a dime and you'll have a good time. Wait, wait, do we lose our diamond? Gosh dang it. Uh, can we push it again? Well, that did absolutely nothing. And uh, we can't, oh wait, no wait, no wait. Now he's uh, moved over on his side. Yeah, look, whoa. It's like, can, can we grab the sweater? I can almost get it now, but Lardo is lying on the sleeve. Uh, okay, all right. So, so we gotta, we gotta find another dime and uh, shake him again. All right, is there anything else in here? Doesn't look like it. Let's let's head on out um, and go back on downstairs there. I think there were a few other rooms that we never even like began to open. Um, nothing there. Can we go through this door? Wait, there's a flyer. Ooh, um, hello there. Pick up the flyer. What is this? Oh, yeah. It's from George's Hardware. George says that every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. Hmm. Okay, maybe we can trick someone into getting us a, a vacuum cleaner for whatever reason. Chuck the plant. <laughs> I do love naming my plants. A horticultural horror. Okay, can we grab it? I can't touch it, it's spiny. Yeah, no, I, I figured. Help wanted sign, what is this? Can we grab it? Yes, we can. All right, can we go out the window? Uh, it's open It's already window. kind of chilly. Okay, can we, can we go out the main door? Open door, yeah! Whoa, we've got a mummy. Hello, dead cousin Ted. <laughs> and he's got a bird bath. Um, what's up, dead cousin Ted? <laughs> hey, Ted. <laughs> Talkative as ever, eh, Ted? Oh my gosh. Boy, I haven't seen you since I was here five years ago. Or, haven't, uh. Have you, you haven't seen any yeah, plans for a one. super battery around, have you? Nah, didn't think so. Why are there so many people I can't talk Boy, to? Boy, I haven't seen you since I was here five years ago. Well, I'd best be on about saving the world. Okay, that did uh, absolutely nothing. I guess uh, we gotta get like a little bird for his little bird bath before he's gonna do much for us. It is pretty over here, that's for sure. All right, let's see if there's anything over uh, this direction. Anything in the mailbox? Hello? Open mailbox? What's inside? Um, it's empty. Okay, let's go to the parking lot. Whoa. Um, is that a car jacker? Is he jacking our car? Wash me on the front. That's fantastic. Um, sup, buddy? What what you doing there? <laughs> Hi. Don't sneak up on me like that. What? Um, what are you up to? Nice crowbar. <laughs> what are you up to? Uh, I uh, locked my keys in the car. <laughs> yeah, sure you did there, buddy. I don't see your keys in the car. Uh, actually, I lost him somewhere. Somewhere? <laughs> I feel like if he did this in real life, like, got even close, he just immediately, hey, nice crowbar. Instant death. I mean, really. If you're locked out, why break into the trunk? I, uh, have a spare set of keys in there. Oh, nice crowbar. Nice crowbar. Thanks. Don't even think about asking to use it. I need it. Could, 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 could we use it? Can we use it? See you later. All right, yeah. see you later, I guess. Um, <laughs> the windshield says, wash me. Is there anything that we can grab over here? It's a filthy old car. Can we open it? I think it's locked. You look at the Someone windshield. wrote, wash me in the dust. Some people think that washing one's vehicle will make it rain. Oh. Uh-huh. How about that? What? I don't understand that. All right, let's go, let's go down this little path here. I, I, we're, we're collecting all the information right now. And uh, that guy, I think we have to get him uh, an equivalent of a crowbar so we can get that. Pipes dumping crystal clear water. Uh, pipes come, yeah. Can we, what can we do with this? What beautiful clear water. Our Cape out, area contaminated with uh, industrial waste. Wow, we can do a lot of things for this. I'd like to, but there's no time. Uh, well, I have no idea what we're supposed to do over here, so. Back to the house it is, and I'm not seeing anything else out here, so let's go through those big double doors that uh, were so enticing at the beginning that I just went right uh, by and went straight to the basement for. All right, welcome. Uh, 
Thank you. I appreciate it. Let's uh, go inside. Oh, we got a clown. Hey, buddy. Uh, uh, Ozo? Um, what's up? You looking at me? Are you looking at me? Oh, wait. <laughs> then who are you looking at? Huh? I asked you a question. Oh, my okay, gosh. Okay, clown. That does it. <laughs> yep, yep. I thought it was an actual person. <laughs> oh, gosh. It's got a little electronic thing as well. I hate that clown <laughs> i hate clowns too thank you very much okay let's see wow look at that chimney i just realized that's kind of creepy there um we could go into the fireplace i think yep whoa went straight to the roof no way okay let's let's go on back down i guess that was okay <laughs> that's that's one way to get up and down uh cigar lighter yeah let's take a look at some of this stuff over here Oh, there's hey, a man. Boy, you hey, missed the party. Sorry. You I'm and not... the clown were having a party? No, no, <laughs> last night. Last night? At the Novelty Good Salesman's Convention. Oh. I tell you, we Novelty Good Salesmen know how to have a good time. <laughs> All right. Has anyone ever told you you look like Don... Uh... Let's see, nice, nice cigars. cigars. Let's get straight to the point here. I we want those cigars. Myself. So, want Ooh. a cigar? Yes, please. Sure, lay one of those Havana babies on me. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I Thought guess that's... I was gonna blow your head off there, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, just a little bit. Whoa. Well, you were right. <laughs> oh my gosh. I like you, sir. <laughs> He's a hoot. I wonder if we could get some more of those. Uh... How do I? You shouldn't oh. smoke. It's a bad habit. <laughs> oh gosh, he's making the laughing thing, but it's not making any noise. It won't let me move my that mouse. That cracks me up every time. All right, I'm glad that you're happy. All right, can we grab your cigar lighter here? All right, I'll take this. Hands off, boy. That's a precision-made novelty device. Hey, hey, hey. We wanted it. <laughs> Anything that we should be or that we want, we should be able to I have. I don't even want to touch that gun. Disgusting mounds of party garbage. Uh, bed of teeth. Whoa, I guess the little teeth are moving on their way. Can we can we follow it? Yeah, we can. Where's it headed off to? Let's grab the chattering teeth. Let's see if we can grab them. Yeah, pick them up. Missed. Ah, dang it. Grab. Try again. Ah, there. Missed. Well, stop missing. Come on, I won't hurt you. Yes, jumpy we will. Jumpy little sucker. Jumpy little, jumpy little, jumpy little sucker. I can't get hold of it. Why not? Slippery little devil. He's right jumpy there. Jumpy little sucker. Why can't we grab him? Okay, whatever. We're gonna, just gonna go through this little door right over here. Oh wait, is there anything with the vent? Um. Oh, open swinging door. Okay, I guess not. What? Oh, <laughs> it's a swinging door, duh. You open it up and uh, it's gonna close. Uh, anything in the microwave? Hello? Make some delicious popcorn. I'm not touching it. These models have a history of leakage. Oh, okay. Can we grab the fork? Hmm, decaf coffee. Oh, heck yeah. This is the coffee that the, uh, remember the professor um, or scientist or whatever uh, was. Uh, this is the one that we need him to drink. Can we grab this one? Yeah. All right. Now, let's see if we can. Let's see. This is decaf. So, can we put it there? Dang it. Wait. Grab it. Wasn't that one in that one? Decaf. Dang it. Wrong one. All right. Hold on. Maybe we can put the regular. Ah, it's only putting it in the right section. I wanted to switch them. Maybe I have to pour it into his actual coffee. All right, uh, can we use it's it? It's already perking away. Okay. Let's go, let's go through this little door over here. There's a giant neon sign saying, go through. So through it we shall go. 25 every 30 minutes. What? Okay. What's in the cabinet? Open up. Anything inside? It's a fine funnel. <laughs> okay, can we grab it? Yeah, all right. We got a lot of things I don't know what to do with. Do not sit on machines. Oh, we need another uh, coin. I wonder if we can get more from the, um, what's inside here? It's a coin-operated clothes dryer. Okay. Um, what's over here in the washer? Let's open it up. 
This is as open as it gets. It looks pretty broken. Okay. Is there anything in the coin slot? You put quarters into the dryer there. Okay. Nothing. Let's go over. Oh, we got a new newspaper. Tentacle rescues uh, returns England. Mayor congratulates Purple Hero. Oh, oh, he returns, returns Emerald. I, I read that wrong. Um, it's my glasses. You know, the, the prescription isn't all that great sometimes. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, okay. So he's trying to make a name for himself, be able to take over the world where he'll steal something and then uh, switch it around like he was the one who came up with it. No little jerk. All right. Is there anything we can do with Ozzo? Or whatever his name is? I can't. Uzo's intimidating. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he is a little intimidating. Can we? Oh, there's the, the dime that was on the floor. Can we pull it? It's stuck to the floor. Oh, right, right. Oh, let's use the fork on the um on the little gum. It's really stuck to the floor. Oh, come on. Why, why is this not working? Okay. Out of order. Oh, let's go in the office here. I didn't realize I could open this. All right, we're in the office. What's at this portrait? Looks like Dr. Fred wearing a powdered wig. Handsome in a way, <laughs> but I'm glad he eventually accepted his hair loss. Yep, yep, I agree. Uh, that looks interesting. It looks like there's something behind the painting. Yeah, there's a safe. The safe is closed. Oh, okay, so this is the safe. Oh, and there's the security camera. Okay, so what we gotta do is we gotta switch his coffee out to decaf. He'll come here, he'll uh, fall asleep, and he'll enter the, the code in. So we gotta we gotta do that. Let's see, look at the Swiss bank code. What? Gee, Dr. Fred doesn't have a penny. What? What is it? Oh, maybe we can use that to buy what was on the, the thing. Uh, can we use the phone? Hello? Couch Potato Shopping Channel, Wanda speaking. Yes. Uh, I wanna buy a diamond. That will be $2 million. Do you have a major credit mm -hmm. card? We do. Um, I have a numbered Swiss bank account. Yes. What's the number, sir? Um, it's 846-427-35327. I'm sorry, the Credotron shows that account to be empty. Oh, uh, no. Dang it. I thought we figured it out. We need more money. Ugh. Also, that girl's voice is so aggravating. All right, what's in the it's drawer? A bottle of correctional fluid. Okay, can we uh, grab it, please? What what is correctional fluid? Um. Oh, there's more stuff here. What is it? It's a bottle of correctional fluid. Boo boo, be gone. I don't know what that means. It's a bottle of correctional fluid. Correctional fluid. Boo boo. Ooh, we'll be gone. I guess we're gonna have to use that on everything then. Boy, the Edisons are a spectacularly ugly family. <laughs> if you look over here, they're like putting Star Wars references constantly through this game. There just could not I be enough of them. three just like it at home. It's a beautiful little Darth Vader. Uh, what's in the camera? Uh, let's say, let's say hi. I let's hope see. no Wait. one's watching. <laughs> I look so goofy on video. Mm-hmm. I can attest to that, there, buddy. Uh. I say while wearing my super geeky glasses. All right, let's uh, boo boo be gone. Let's try this out. I don't, I don't know if this will work. I don't we'll think try. that would look better white. Oh, we can we can change it to the color white. Hmm. Don't know why that would be important, but uh, apparently it is. All right, let's go back downstairs. Maybe we missed something down here. We're looking for those super battery plans, and I know they got to be around here someplace. What's the little paper here say? It's Dr. Fred's design for a super battery. <gasps> it's capable of storing up to one gigavolt with a charging time of only 0.01 seconds. No wow. way. Heck yeah, we've been looking I for this. I've got the plans. Yeah. We, we have to flush them to Hoagie. How did you get over there? What? Where have you been? We've been looking everywhere my for you. My genius super battery design, please. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Did you just really flush them. Flush it? Yes. Down the toilet. No, through time. Through time? Using the highly sophisticated time flux hydraulic vortex chamber I've installed in each chronogen, you can flush small inanimate objects to each other through time. Nice. Flush small inanimate objects to each other through time. Oh, no. 
Hello. <laughs> She's Dr. still there. Fred, can you hear me? Oh my gosh. Drat. Has to be the. Did you hear something? <laughs> no. Let's see. Most intense what's wedgie his of all time. Catches on. All right. Hello, Hoagie. Oh, great. I'm stuck in colonial times. <laughs> Tentacles are taking over the world, and now the toilet's backing up. Okay. Come over here. You ever see a... it's your old pal, Dr. Fred. <laughs> Dr. Fred, how'd you get in there? I want you to pick up those plans you see in the chronogon, Hoagie. Bring them oh to Red Edison. He's my great, 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 great. <laughs> Great, great, great grandfather. He'll know what to do. Oh you need the plans to make a super battery so you can plug in your chronogon. Okay, if you say so, Bernard. Yep, we say so. Good boy. Does he have any experience with electronics? Um, well, I once saw him take 3,000 volts directly through his head without <laughs> batting an eye. Didn't he pass out? Well, he was already passed out when it happened. Oh, um, wow. Time wow. for me to save the world, I guess. <laughs> oh, cool. Now we can swap between them. So now we're Hoagie. Hey, boy, how's it going? Oh, that's really neat, though. So anytime that we need to, we can send uh, the inanimate objects uh, to each other back and forth. I really like that. Well, I think I'm going to leave that episode here. Next time, we'll pick up with Hoagie in Medieval Times. And thanks for hanging out, guys. I will see you tomorrow with another video. Bye-bye. I actually wear real glasses. I just had to wear fake ones for the video so it wouldn't reflect.